Hey, Commander. What, no Lola? <laughs> yeah, sorry. You okay? I don't know what I thought I'd feel coming back to Earth. I was ready to fight. Ready to die if I had to. But seeing everything like this... I know it's hard to say. But this is only temporary. But first we need to win this thing. Stay focused. Don't let them take your will to fight. I know, I know. You're right. So, I guess this is it, no? One more push. One last fight. Not necessarily our last. It's been an honor serving with you, Shepard. You're a good man and a terrific soldier. Thanks. Whatever happens out there today, I know you'll make me proud. That means a lot to me, ma'am. Good luck out there, Lola. Hey, Caden. Hey, Shepard. You ready? Absolutely. For anything. Bring it on. And biotics division? Your students? <laughs> More than ready. Eager. That's youth for you. Guess we're old soldiers. Hey, eh, Shepard? Yeah. I guess we are. We know the score. We know this is goodbye. We're gonna win this thing. Don't get me wrong. I'm gonna fight like hell to see you on the other side. But listen, I... There's... Things I want to say. I mean, looking back, I, I have a few regrets, but not many. That's pretty damn amazing, right? Messed up kid that I was. Never would have dreamed of the life I've had. And I owe a lot of that to you, you know? It's been quite a ride. It sure has. But how are you doing? Scared? Damn straight I'm scared. That fear is gonna keep me alive long enough to strike these bastards right through the heart. Yeah. Exactly. So... Take care, Major. You too, Commander. Well... I should find the rest of my squad. Yeah. You know... I've never been to London. Yes, Commander. Is there someone you'd like to reach? Steve Cortez. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander, you made it. Glad I can say the same about you, Cortez. I've come too far to lose my pilot now. I apologize for that. Things got too hot. Thought maybe I could do another run and head back around. Well, not one of my finer moments. If I'd been flying my old trident, things might have been different. What matters is we took out that AA gun. Absolutely. And the Reapers are next. That's the idea. It'll happen. I'm just glad I could play a part. And Commander, thanks for making me believe again. If you hadn't... It helps to have reason to live again. Stay sharp, Cortez. Yes, ma'am. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Samara. Certainly. I'll connect you now. I wondered if I'd see you again, Samara. It's past time I joined your battle. You helped me a great deal in the Monastery, Shepherd. Thank you for returning the favor. Only your actions will be remembered. May you choose them well. Farewell. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Jacob Taylor. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard, that you? Jacob, holding up? <sighs> Kicking ass, more like. My kill count's through the roof. We'll meet and compare notches when this is over. 
You got it. There's this, uh, great little bar in Rio we have to check out. I'm holding you to that. Give him hell, Jacob. Yes, sir. Shepard out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? I'm done. Yes, ma'am. I want you to coordinate with the Alliance. Make sure we iron out these logistical problems. Yes, sir. The Krogan don't want to share supplies. Remind Reeve that if he wants to be part of the galaxy again, he needs to act like it. You can tell him I said that. Primarch Victus, I didn't realize you were here. I wanted to return the favor in person. Though I'm sorry to see your world. Looks as bad as ours. I'm surprised you're not back on Palavan. This war will be won or lost today, here, on Earth, not Palavan. Everything comes down to this moment, and history will record that the Turian hierarchy stood among the brave. That's a shame. How are things back on Palavan? Reeve kept his word, but he couldn't get the other clans to fall in line. We never got the reinforcements we needed. Good luck, Commander. Shepard. So, I guess this is... Just like old times. <laughs> huh. Uh. Hmm. Might be the last chance we get to say that. You think we're gonna lose? No, I think we're about to kick the Reapers back into whatever black hole they crawled out of. Then, we're going to retire somewhere warm and tropical and live off the royalties from the vids. I'll meet you there. I think my days of saving the galaxy are over when this is done. Be sure to leave room for all the autographs. Just need to beat the Reapers to get there. James told me there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Torian heaven is the same as yours, but if this thing goes sideways and we both end up there, meet me at the bar. I'm buying. We're a team, Garrus. There's no Shepard without Vicarian, so you better remember to duck. Sorry, Torians don't know how, but I'll improvise. And Shepard, forgive the insubordination, but this old friend has an order for you. Go out there. And give them hell. You were born to do this. Deal. We've got hostiles on the perimeter! How are the casualties? We lost people. Some of the wounded here won't make it. 
The Reapers are closing in. How you holding up, Liara? This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. I just know I'll have a clever line five minutes from now. I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment, if you want it. Sure. I've got a moment. Close your eyes. Thank you. For everything. Let's do what needs to be done, Shepard. What's his condition? The bleeding. There's a lot of blood. His leg was blown off below the knee. Okay. Now, now try to stay calm. I'm just a civilian. We're out of Meditel, and your surgeon got killed by a reaper. I don't know how to do this. I'll talk you through it. You're his only hope right now. The most important thing is to stop the bleeding. How? Do you have any towels or bandages? No, nothing. We're sitting under a bombed out highway. Uh, then use your shirt. Tear off one of your sleeves and... Again, let me know. You're going to make it. Listening to the Krogan speak to his men. In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. I envy you. Really? There's not much left out there. The future is still out there. It is something my people could never say. There will be a tomorrow. Only if we win today. No one else has ever made it this far. We haven't won until we've crossed the finish line. In my cycle, we never even saw the finish line. But yours is out there. The end is in sight. You will become the avatar of this cycle. The exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity, or Turians, or Protheans, but for all life. Every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. Well, no pressure when you put it that way. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. I know. I had to make a lot of those. There may be more. But I know you will see this through for all of us, no matter the cost. If we actually pull this off, what will you do afterwards? 
Since my birth, life's only pursuit has been war. I look forward to seeing what peace looks like. It's a big galaxy. Perhaps I will write a book with the Asar... with Dr. Tessoni. She suggests journeys with the Prothean. You do that? I will need a job. There will be no Reapers left to kill. Thank you, Commander, for letting the last voice of the Prothean speak. It has been a privilege. Shepard, we thought we'd drop by and help pull you humans from the fire. In return, I want to own the place you call Australia. <laughs> Just kidding. For now. Eve isn't around to tell me what to do anymore. You know, I've been mating ever since you left the Chunka. Gonna be a lot of her not kin running around soon. Well, as soon as one of the females gets pregnant. They're having trouble. I guess my power intimidates them. We're ready, Shepard. But I don't think the Reapers are ready for us. What about this zone? We could circle around and flood it with reinforcements. Not likely. I spent three days in that sector, trapped inside Big Ben, sniping anything that moved. It's a bloody death trap. Name me one place in this city that isn't. Commander? Admiral? Just going over the sit rep. How's it look? Barely 50% of Hammer has reported in. Can we count on more making it? There's some stragglers still en route. But the bulk of Hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. I'll check on my team. We'll get going soon. I'll give the battalion leaders the heads up. We'll be ready as soon as you are. Shepard, I have a question. Is it a big or small one? It is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the Conduit at all? The Reapers have the Citadel. They think they've won, and that's the best time to hit them. If they have spies or other intelligence, we could lose the element of surprise. In such a case, we will likely lose. Are you afraid? Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, Edie. You understand what we have to do, or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours. Nor will they. Good. Fight hard, but fight smart. We'll be depending on you. Understood. Almost time for the final push. Are you okay? I thought I'd be asking you that question. Shepard, I backed you when I was just a kid on her pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't back you now? And you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? You remember how you felt when you landed on Rannark? Now imagine it's not a story passed down by your people. Imagine you were there just a few months ago. And now you're seeing it like this. We need to put it right. We will. Whatever happens, I'm proud to have served with you, Captain. It's been an honor, Talisor of us, Normandy. The Admirals once hung that ship name on me like a badge of shame. And then the Normandy helped us reclaim our homeworld. It's time I returned the favor. Whenever you're ready. Let's move before the Reapers realize what we're up to. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. We fought hard to get here. 
But now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses, and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Now they've cut a swath of no man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here, if we get close enough. We've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us. But there can be no retreat, no stepping back. We move forward at all costs, understood? Booyah! Yes, sir! Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. Shepard, I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push to the beam. I'll give you a minute with your squad. Pick your team well. This war has brought us pain and suffering and loss. But it's also brought us together as soldiers, allies, friends. This bond that ties us together is something the Reapers will never understand. It's more powerful than any weapon, stronger than any ship. It can't be taken or destroyed. One way or another, this war ends today. There will be no second chances, and no room for mistakes. Each of you needs to be willing to die to win the day. Anything less, and you're already dead. Expect no mercy. Show no mercy. You fight or you die.